Hello and welcome everyone. This is a great opportunity to be here and share more knowledge about embedded electronics. Thanks for being here and let's get started. Can you guess what the single most important macro is in C? Or maybe should I say the most useful macro in C? Don't worry if you could not guess this because far too few people are using it, but they should. It is the container off macro and it is the single most straightforward way to achieve abstract interfaces in C in the most type safe way possible. When I say type safe, I mean deterministic, clean, without using void pointers. I mean, you've seen the void pointers, they're very ugly, I don't like void pointers. I prefer to have everything set to their respective types. So how do we achieve an abstract interface where we can maintain type safety and do so in C? It's by using the container of macro. And I'll show you how to do it. This macro makes it possible for you to achieve complete encapsulation. When you implement a method that takes an abstract interface as an argument, a method that would be defined as a member variable in your object, and then to cast it to the object itself. When you use this right, there will never be a case where you would call a method that is part of an abstract interface with an object that is not pointing to correct data. Your interface macros should be used throughout the rest of your code and they will prevent this from happening by handling argument passing for you. Let's have a look, for example, at the GPIO driver. The GPIO driver has two methods, write pin and read pin. These two methods are implemented as, implemented as virtual functions uh, by defining them in a separate structure called GPIO device ops. Now, to make this, uh, to make this automatic and to make this type safe, I use, uh, I also define several macros that take the GPIO device interface, which is defined as type def GPIO device ops, and pass it to each one of these functions. Now, if we go to the implementation of these functions in the actual GPIO driver, the specialized GPIO driver, which implements the abstract interface, for example, like the MCP, uh, the, the MCP 2317 here, then you can see that I define the GPIO device which contains the virtual methods as member variable of my uh, concrete device driver and then in the implementation of these methods i take the past argument called dev and cast it using container off to the mcp2317 now if the macros that i defined previously are always used to access the gpi functions this will never fail because it will always be the correct pointer passed to the function which we then predictably cast to the enclosing object which then contains our concrete data. If you like this video, then subscribe to my channel and share this video with everybody you know.